May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. May 12, 2024 Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Certainly, O Theophilus, I composed the first discourse about everything that Jesus began to do and to teach, instructing the apostles, whom he had chosen through the Holy Spirit, even until the day on which he was taken up. He also presented himself alive to them, after his passion, appearing to them throughout forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God with many elucidations. And dining with them, he instructed them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but that they should wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard, he said, from my own mouth. For John, indeed, baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. Therefore those who had assembled together questioned him, saying, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? But he said to them, It is not yours to know the times or the moments, which the Father has set by his own authority. But you shall receive the power of the Holy Spirit, passing over you, and you shall be witnesses for me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the ends of the earth. And when he had said these things, while they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. And while they were watching him going up to heaven, behold, two men stood near them in white vestments. And they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, shall return in just the same way that you have seen him going up to heaven. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. O oh, clap your hands, all you nations, shout unto God with the voice of joy, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God is ascended with jubilee, and the Lord with the sound of trumpet. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For God is the King of all the earth, sing you wisely. God shall reign over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give a spirit of wisdom and of revelation to you in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your heart be illuminated, so that you may know what is the hope of his calling and the wealth of the glory of his inheritance with the saints, and the preeminent magnitude of his virtue toward us, toward we who believe in accord with the work of his powerful virtue, which he wrought in Christ, raising him from the dead and establishing him at his right hand in the heavens, above every principality and power and virtue and dominion, and above every name that is given, not only in this age, but even in the future age. And he has subjected all things under his feet, and he has made him the head over the entire church, which is his body and which is the fullness of him who accomplishes everything in everyone. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go forth to the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. Whoever will have believed and been baptized will be saved. Yet truly, whoever will not have believed will be condemned. Now these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they shall cast out demons. 
They will speak in new languages. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not harm them. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they will be well. And indeed, the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God. Then they, setting out, preached everywhere, with the Lord cooperating and confirming the word by the accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection What steps can you take to share the message of Jesus' ascension and invite others to join in the journey towards eternal life with him? Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, whoever does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16 verses 15 to 16 We celebrate today, one more step in the completion of the mission of the Son of God. Humanity had sinned at the beginning of time and fallen from original innocence. God immediately began to prepare the world for the gift of eternal redemption by establishing a covenant with Noah, Abraham and Moses. He raised up various prophets and kings to further prepare his people for what was to come. And then, when the time was right, God entered our world through the Blessed Virgin Mary. Jesus, the Son of God, eventually entered into his public ministry, teaching, performing miracles, gathering the faithful to himself, dying, rising, and then appearing to his disciples in preparation for the ascension. The Ascension completes the mission of the Son of God. Today, we honor that definitive moment when God the Son, in his transformed and resurrected human nature, ascends by his own power to the Father, bringing with himself our humanity, so that all humanity may ascend with him. As we celebrate the Ascension of Jesus, we must first see all that led up to that moment and seek to unite ourselves with all of those preceding events. We must listen to the words of the patriarchs and prophets of the Old Testament. We must especially listen to the teachings of Jesus in the New Testament and embrace his words without hesitation. And we must unite ourselves with his own death, dying to sin, so that we may also share in his resurrection. Today, we must further see the invitation we are all given to ascend with Jesus to the Father. We must understand that where Jesus has gone, we are invited to follow if we only believe, embrace, and live all that took place leading up to this glorious moment. The ascension was the end of Jesus' life on earth, but also the beginning of our sharing in the life of heaven. As Jesus ascended, he commissioned his disciples to go forth and preach the gospel to every creature. They were to preach to all about the saving plan of God, that began at the time of Adam and Eve, and was completed with the Ascension. Reflect today, upon your calling to not only share in this glorious moment of Jesus' Ascension, but also your calling to go forth and to do all you can, to draw others into this new life. Reflect upon Jesus, who also speaks to you today, to invite you to bring others to that mountain. By teaching friends, family, and all with whom God has entrusted to you to share the gospel, you fulfill Christ's mission to go into the whole world, to gather the scattered people into the one fold of Christ, so as to ascend with him one day into eternity. Let us pray. My ascended Lord, all things throughout history, were but a preparation for the moment when you drew fallen humanity into heaven to be with your Father forever. Help me to always heed your holy words, so that I too will share in your ascension. Use me, dear Lord, to also go forth and to draw many others to you, so that the kingdom will be filled with all those whom you have called. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.
Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.